Hello, welcome to Naresh Technologies. This is Sudhakar Sharma. In this video session, we are going to discuss about how to define the view engines in MVC and uh, the razor syntax for MVC. So, ASP.NET MVC can be defined with ASPX engine or razor engine. So, we already started our examples and working with uh, view engines or uh, razor engine. In early sessions of this videos, we discussed about what is a view engine, what is the role of view engine. When we discussed about the architecture, if you are not aware of that and you are new to this, you can know about that view engines concept in our introduction sessions. So, in this session, I am going to show you the basic razor syntax and the various options used with razor. Let us see how we can handle the razor syntax in MVC applications. So, we have two view engines inbuilt available with ASP.NET. One is ASPX, another one razor engine. So, the basic razor syntax, how to configure, let us see. I am adding a controller. a home controller. Yeah. In this home controller, we have an index action. So, we will add a view for this index action. It is an uh, empty view. So, let us add an empty view. Yeah. So, here we are going to learn how do we use razor syntax and uh, what is the basic methodology of using razor in our ASP.NET applications. So, I just put a heading here. So, saying uh, razor syntax, syntax, yep. So, generally in uh, ASP.NET MVC, the razor syntax usually starts with at the net and uh, we can define our logic in uh, the curly braces defined as a block of the razor. So, razor, this is a razor block, this is a razor block. As uh, you know, ASPX block is defined with percentile brace and this is an ASPX block. So, razor block is defined uh, with this at the net and how do we configure options in that razor block, we will see now. So, generally, in razor engine, this is the block description in razor, uh, razor engine and this is the code for ASPX engine, engine. Now, in MVC, we can use both ASPX as well as razor. So, as we are already dealing with razor engine, we will see the basic razor syntax, how it can be configured. So, the first important you have to know about the razor block in a view is. So, you can use a single line block, single line block and you can define a multi line block, multi line block and you can also define an inline block, inline block. So, how do we define single line, multi line and inline blocks? We will see how to handle these three. So, the razor syntax can be defined in inline or single line or multi line. Let us see, I will switch to this page and here I have to define, I will just put a commented lines and uh, here I will say a single line block, single line block. How do we configure a single line block in razor? The single line block in razor is defined just with at the net and you can define a single line block. And here we are defining, so where some statement, some uh, name is equal to some value. So, we are defining some value and semicolon. So, this is a uh, single line block. In a single line block, so we have to preside the logic with at the net and uh, our uh, entire code snippet must be inside this flower brace. And we declared a variable name and we have to access and use this name. Now, how to print this name? I am defining another commented and here I will show you how do we use an inline block, 
inline block. The configuration of inline block is actually defined like this. We will put a paragraph and here we will write a sentence hello, hello and uh, we need to access the information that is defined in the variable name and display here. And how do we configure that inline? That means inline block indicates along with the other contents in your page. So, along with this paragraph hello, so I am displaying at the net and the reference of name, whatever the name you have configured. So, a single line block allows you to configure the values and an inline block allows you to display those configured values. We can just access and use them. So, let us see how to run and see the output for this inline and single line block. So, I will execute this page and I will request for home controller index action. Yep, you can see this is the home controller index action and uh, the razor syntax. We are accessing the declared variable value and we are displaying that value. So, how we configured this? In a single line block, we declared an variable name and with value John and we are displaying that value through an inline block. Inline block contains all the contents along with your markup. So, we can configure that just by using at the net. A block is defined just by using this flower brace. If I want to define a multi line block, let us put a comment and let us say a multi line block. How do we configure a multi line block and print the multi line block statements? I will define at the net and uh, this is a multi line block. In the multi line block I am defining so id so that is 1 and I will define a name so where name where name is equal to some name some samsung tv yep and uh, name is uh, some prod name some that is product name we defined a product name with some value and uh, we will define some price so, is equal to some price, yeah. Later, we will discuss about various data types supported in Razor, in Razor. As of now, I am defining a multi line block where we are configuring the details like ID, the product name and the price. And multi line block is defined with this code snippet. So, starting with uh, at the net and configured within the flower brace. Now, I want to print these details, we need to access and print the details. I am designing a table, so with some width some uh, 400 and uh, some border so to 1 and in this table I defined a table header. So, we have table head, we here we defined as product id and uh, we will define another table header, so that is name and a table header price and uh, we need to access a table body. In the table body, we need to generate a row. In the row, we need to display the three details id, name and price. So, we are defining a stable cell. In the table cell, we are configuring the value references. How we can define the value references? You have to use at the net and it is id. And uh, another cell will use a reference that is at the net, so prod name, so prod name. And the last cell will use the reference at the net that is price. So, we are accessing the details defined in a multi line block and we are presenting the details in a tabular form. So, I will save and let us refresh this content, you can see the data is presented in a tabular form. So, if you are configuring a multi line block, the multi line block statements are defined by using this representation. So, here there can be a collection or there can be any type of content that is related to C sharp data types. So, here we are declaring everything as an implicitly typed, so a variable. For example, 
you can use any C sharp data types, you can perform iterations and you can print the data. For example, see I am creating a simple collection here. Let us create a collection, a string type array. I will give, uh, you can create any type of uh, data types that is related to uh, angle, uh, that is related to the C sharp types. So, I am creating a string type array. So, string type array I will give the name as products is equal to a new string type array and into that we are printing some products information. Suppose I say some Samsung mobile and I defined some, uh, some uh, name like Nike shoe okay and some name like some Lee Cooper boot right yes we defined some details here. Now I we configured in the previous example I showed you how do we configure a simple uh, data type with uh, an ID as an integer as an string size as an decimal type. Now in this I am configuring a little bit complex type. I created a string type of products and we are accessing the details. Now instead of a table so here I want to print the details of what we configured inside this array. Then what I am doing here I am configuring a heading as saying that products list and how we can access the list of all the products and print. I want to print this in a list form. If I want to print in a list form we have to define an ordered list. Usually ordered list contains collection of items and uh, the collection of items are defined as list item and I need to perform an iteration over this collection present inside the products and I want to print them as list items. Then here I will use a for each statement for each where item in collection, collection is products. We are reading every element from the collection and I want to generate a list item where I have to print that item. That means whatever the elements are present inside this collection products, we are accessing those elements and we are adding those elements into this item and we are displaying that through this item reference. So this time we created a array type collection. So in this razor syntax and we are trying to access that by using some iteration statements. So I will configure that and I will refresh and you can see the statements that is the values the products that I have defined will be displayed in a list form. You can use various types of conditions in the razor syntax when you are performing iteration. So for example, I want to print the details where the, the details are matching with shoe. So then I can use a logical condition also here. So we can define a logical condition here. How do we use an internal condition and configure those internal conditions later we will discuss about that. As of now we can do this iteration for any type of options. Suppose I am using an unordered list and in that we are printing a list item and I will get that item and display and you can refresh and see the items are displayed as an unordered list. right? So when we are configuring a razor syntax for any type of references, it can be in three options. We can define a single line block, we can define a multi line block and an inline block. The single line blocks are defined, the single line blocks are defined in this code snippet where you have to start with an add the net and uh, the block is defined within the flower brace. In a inline block they need not to be defined as block, just you have to define any statement presiding with at the net. And in multi line block you can define a code snippet where you can declare any type of variables and references according to C sharp data type or razor data types. Later we will discuss about how do we use the razor data types. Here I am using a simple C sharp string type declaring some products. In order to access and print this products information we are performing an iteration by using a for each loop. So we are performing iteration over an unordered list and generating a list item for every item inside the products. So this is three different methods of adding the syntax for razor, inline, 
single line and multi line. Now in this razor syntax, we will discuss about how to use conditions, looping statements and other types of complex collections that we will discuss in our next session. Thank you. Mm -hmm.